Welcome back to Fast Market here on the Schwab Network. It's time for our cash tag segment. For that, let's bring in Andy Swan. He's a co-founder at Likefolio. Welcome back to the show, Andy. Thank you. All right. So uh, I mentioned before the break, uh, Domino's has fallen over 20 percent uh, since May. Uh, last earnings, the stock fell on some weaker than expected guidance. Uh, and now the stock's just flat on the year. Do you guys have data that kind of backs up uh, the softness that we're seeing in the, uh, in the shares? Yeah, we do, and we have for a while. I think, you know, Domino's, although we consider it best of breed in the, you know, pizza chain category by a long shot, uh, is facing some very significant headwinds that are only picking up steam. And those headwinds are twofold. First of all, you know, there's this proliferation of meal delivery via uh, DoorDash, Uber Eats, et cetera, uh, pizza was at one point, maybe along with some Chinese, was the only game in town for a long time. If you wanted to get a meal delivered to your home, it was the only game in town. Now that has dramatically changed. The other thing that we're hearing from a lot of our hedge fund clients actually is, you know, they're calling us up and they're saying, you know, what are consumers feeling? Because we are getting very concerned that these value wars or these price wars in uh, quick service restaurants and even sit down restaurants are starting to trickle down to uh, fast casual and pizza, where the competitive pressures of pricing are really starting to take their toll. And so I think Domino's was right to lower their guidance, to lower expectations probably for the remainder of the year, because as of right now, everything is coming to the consumer, um, you know, in terms, of, in terms of value on the price side, these companies are competing hand over fist to try to get uh, what's left of your wallet and on the convenience side, uh, you know, the consumer just has far more options than they have ever had before. And so Domino's finds itself in a really tough spot from a macro environment perspective, but still one of the best executing companies in the world. If anyone can get through this, it's Domino's. Andy, this is a company that there's not very many, you know, we, we, most pizza places are regional. Right, we talk about that a lot in this show. Domino's isn't. You could so, and much like McDonald's, in my opinion, Domino's is like the low price point. Right, Jenny Horn can order a Domino's pizza and it's like ten bucks, and they bring you a pizza and they bring you bread and they bring you big fluffy things that young people love. They made the sauce a little sweeter. They're doing a good job. So I get it from a kid perspective. That's a favorite pizza, and you can get it anywhere. Now, let's get to the business part of it. Here's what I like even more. The average startup cost for a domino is about $450,000. The average earnings is about, after everything's taken out, is about $170,000. That's 37% return on your money. That means for most investors, it's a pretty good business model. Right, it's one that every three years you could free, theoretically start another one and just out of free cash flow. Now, they they still have things they have to adapt. They've partnered up with Uber Eats. I think that's important. They've rebranded some loyalty. That's important. Can this company stabilize and get back up? Because the chart doesn't look great, but they're also not killing it below four hundred dollars a share. So, are we at a level here where people can feel a little better? Yeah, I think you can feel a little better. I think the recent down move in the stock is justified and prices things about right. You know, I think expectations are lowered going into this event, but they're lowered for good reason. The headwinds are very much still there. Um, you know, you mentioned the Domino's franchise as being a good investment. One of the hidden costs I think that people miss a lot of times when they talk about those things is the amount of time that you actually as the owner have to spend in the restaurant to make it really work that well. And so there is a time, uh, a value of time component there uh, that a lot of times entrepreneurs miss when they look at those uh, rosy financial situations. But in, in any event, I think Domino's Pizza has clearly proven uh, with its dramatic turnaround uh, that it did over the last 15 years, uh, you know, the stuff of NBA legends, um, it's proven that they can execute at an extremely high level. They can bring loyalty, like you mentioned, to their product. They can utilize technology as well as anybody in the business. 
and they have the scale to do it all at a price point that makes consumers happy. So I think they just have to weather these storms, these inflationary and competitive storms. They will come out really well on the other side. I just think it's going to be a very bumpy road until we get there. And that could last another two, three quarters very easily. Yeah. And uh, I noticed one of your charts, you had the web traffic score uh, change yeah. year over year. That's down 9%. But Domino's, Andy, I remember I was talking about this a couple of years ago. They were like first in with the loyalty, uh, using the app for ordering, you know, getting updates on where your order is. They kind of set the tone for this industry as a whole. And to see their web traffic kind of falling, and the and the, the company came out and just said at a conference about a month ago, they seem, uh, the consumers seem to be seeing incrementally more pri uh, pressure due to inflationary uh, yeah. measures. So they kind of lowered their guidance a little bit. So when you look at those metrics, do we expect, uh, you know, your earnings score to kind of be a little bit weak here where we might see another sell-off? Yeah, it's definitely weak. I think the risk for Domino's is still to the downside. When you look at those charts that we shared, they all look the same. You know, all the pizza companies look the same. That they're, so they're facing a macro environment that's very difficult. It will be tough for them to give guidance that really makes uh, Wall Street very excited to buy the stock. The last few earnings reports has been, you know, kind of sell the news, sell the beat. I think that's probably where we're at right now, even though expectations are lowered. I would put the risk to the downside, but I think Domino's overall is priced pretty well for long-term investors. All right, great stuff, great data. As always, Andy, appreciate it.